weird place for a bath. I can't imagine who would rent here. Don't hear anything. Maybe we... Ah! Oh, there it is. Oh my god, that scared me so much. On the plus side, I've placed the incense. I can definitely hear blobbing. There's blobbing afoot. Oh, it shut the door on me. That's rude. Oh god. Oh, crops. Excuse me. Sorry. Can I just... I'm just... I'm just gonna do... Oh boy. Oh, I've made so many mistakes in my life. <laughs> Shall I get out of the battle rifle? I feel weird. There's no monsters. Oh. Uh, hello? Something massive come at me that I can battle rifle. Go on. Oh, Christ. Oh, fuck. Whoa, that was a pretty fucking nice shot. Don't forget to recommend my lodgings to your friends. Absolutely I not. hope they are never in such dire need of shelter. The joke's on you. I don't have any friends. Oh my gosh, it's so weird having our whole face exposed with no hat. Wow, I feel so naked. Oh, this is the one where the women are going missing. What was that? Oh, am I on the wrong... Was that just an unrelated restaurant? Oh, I think I might be really stupid. <laughs> It's about dirigibles. Am I on the right road now? Yeah. Um. I guess I'll. Oh, I can't go in there. None of these look like restaurants. So it's. Willow Lane between Herald Street and Bullock Lane. Yeah. Should be up this. This little patch of road. Ah, uh, I don't see anything that looks like a restaurant here. I feel like I'm losing my marbles. Okay, this is a restaurant. And it's got monsters in it. Biggins. Well, moderate sizes. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> don't steal on the floor towards me. Ow. I know, I know. Oh, you flop onto your back, you silly fucker. Oh no, that's the dead one. Shit. I know. Oh fuck. I'm gonna die, actually. Um. Ooh! Okay. Battle rifle not super useful on those guys. Oh, I just popped a bit of, like, gross on my foot. Cool. Okay, well, that's not great. Newspaper. The Count Ugol Ugolino restaurant is preparing to reopen. Kitchen hands, dishwashers, waiters, and waitresses needed. Interested partners, come for an interview. Okay. Hello. Thanks for the interview. Question one. Big blood stain on the floor. That's not really a question. I feel like the question is implied. Question two. I heard women were disappearing here. Dear Mr. Throgmorton, it's my pleasure to invite you to a tasting of exclusive and exquisite dishes, which will be taking place at the restaurant in two weeks' time. This is a closed event, and only the most honourable guests will be in attendance. Sus. Someone's a little sussy backer. Look, they've done a really poor job with the... the blood is still here. fresh. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I feel like they probably did, like the chef or whoever has just been murdering people. That was kind of my original thought, wasn't it? Like, police have started to look into the disappearance of several young women in the ad in Advent. Witnesses said they saw the vi missing victims in the restaurant. Because like, we've never encountered any monster that has a preference for who they kill. Like, it's just whoever's there and convenient even if they like take the people's places or something oh, fuck okay we clamber down it's fine we clamber down <laughs> this is fun to climb over a bar isn't it it's what we all wish we could do more blood maybe the chef is actually a monster your typical kitchen utensils i think i was right i think i'm right which is not good because it's horrible but, you know. Hello? Oh, yeah. Ow! He is just a murderer. I knew it! 
I knew it. Uh, oh. On the outside of this wall? Nope. My esteemed patrons, <laughs> ah. presenting my latest delicacy. Ah, don't be greedy. Don't hurry to eat, please. You'll always be my most well-regarded clients. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> that was a long laugh. Look, haven't we all seen a murderous demon creature and gone oh puppy i know i have i get it he shouldn't have exclusively killing women as well i'm not into that either but you know i he wanted to feed the puppies recipe for human meat of course he wrote it down cut the flesh from the young woman's hip into four ounce pieces then pound each one to a thickness of one third inch season with black pepper on each steak, lie one slice of cheese, a few leaves of sage, and two slices of prosciutto. Roll into pinwheels. I hope my new patrons enjoy the dish. Well, at least we've put a stop to it. I was always sure my dishes could not be matched. Those who taste human flesh always crave for more. It's always diff it's difficult to find enough meat for my patrons. They spend all their time hiding in the basement, pleading to be fed again. Today I went downstairs and saw how my patrons had changed. They love my cooking so much that their bodies have adapted to consume more. They got the big gra chompy mouths. I cannot let them down. I must post new ads. My funds are running low. I guess I'll have to find a new prosperous patron to support my business. Hence, sending the letter to Throbmorton. Yeah, that checks out. Well, great. I mean, fantastic. Well, I don't think the health inspector will be pleased. Um, probably not. I'm gonna say probably not. Do I have to tell uh, Throgmorton about this? <laughs> uh, okay. Um, oh, I've got two knowledge points. Should I? Should I do some stuff? Let's improve my melee skills, because I've been using that quite a lot. And then let's carry an extra first aid kit. Cool! I mean, cool, but satisfied that I was right. Ah, and we've, we've saved the day. We've put a stop to the evil wrongdoings. Um, oh, hold on. We've got, another, we've got another Doctor One to do, haven't we? We should do it. Do them both before we go. Uh, the shop on Ward Street. A looter tried to shoplift and was attacked. Ah, this is the one with the massive wild beast. I have to find out how it could have appeared in a locked building. They just blob out the floor. Yo, they just blob out the floor. Western Reed Heights. Ward Street. Between Bourbon Street and Sam Reed Street. There's Bourbon Road. Sam Reed Street. Does, is the reason that it doesn't have a, a street name because it's on this infested road. Fantastic. No, I love it. It's brilliant. Let's get to the fast travel point so I can get there as fast as possible. I shut. Let's just load up. It's one huge beast, right? So I think I should go in with the battle rifle and the shotgun. I should also heal. Let's just, before I start. Oops. I should remember to use my traps and uh, grenades and shit this time as well. I'll try and do that. I've also got a brick. I should... I should be using that. Oh, I don't have any cordite. Nice, nice. Perfect. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to confuse anyone. I should probably put the gun away. Eh, I feel like they're used to seeing weirder stuff in Oakmont. I don't think anyone would take notice of me running around, even though I have a giant rifle. I think they're probably like, whatevs. Unless they recognise that I got it from a dead guy. Because he was quite well known, wasn't he? Oh well, whatevs. 
Um, ooh, this is where I'm going. Okay. I think. Probably. Oh, maybe I shouldn't start with my battle rifle at them, because I might have to... Nah, I mean... Bolting through the... Bolting through the streets tends to be the best way, actually, when it comes to the infested zones. Oh, no, it has got a name. Ward Street. Is this Ward Street? It doesn't have a name on it. I guess I'll just look. I'm going the wrong way. <sighs> Between Bourbon Road and Sam Reed Street. I mean, it must be right. Has it got a name on it? Can I find out its name without jumping into the zone? This is Bolton. Okay, let's just go. Don't mind me. I'm just passing through. Huh? No. Ooh. Oh, large. Large. Oh. Good Christ. Oh, hello. Excuse me, I'm lost. I'm looking for Ward Street. I think this might not be it. I think, ah, I think this might not be it. I don't even see any buildings I can go in on that street. Ah, I'm just, excuse me for a minute. I just need to get my bearings, look at a map real quick. Oh, it's down here. <laughs> Sorry about that. Can I get there without... But I mean, hmm. okay, I'm gonna go through the infested zone again. Everything's probably despawned already. Let's just go. Nope. I am literally just a silly little guy. I'm just a silly little guy. You can't have beef with me. Imagine beef with me, a silly little guy. Okay, I'm just going to heal up one more time. Ah. Yeah. Damn right he's cursed. Well, I'm mad. Check yourself, mate. Bit rude. I'm saving the day around here. You know all the women going missing in that restaurant? Sorted that out. Killed the guy who was doing it. You're welcome. Oh my god, that was such a stupid error. That's twice I've done that. In a single playthrough, go to just completely the wrong fucking place. <laughs> ah. Okay. Should be... I should be on this street. Probably this one. That sounds big. Ooh, ice cream and soda, yum. I've not had an ice cream float. We call them ice cream floats. I've not had one in forever. That is big. Okay, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hang on there, pal. Oh, he's really fast, actually. Oh, God. Ow, I feel like his death hurt me as much as the... Wow. Wow, just all the mouth, all the limbs. Whoa, whoa that was weird. His little froggy feet. Ugh. Okay. Gross. Haha. <laughs> Neophyte. The fecund mother blesses you. Your servant has been no your servitude has been noticed. You will have the chance to join the inner circle and see our mother with thine own eyes. Our brothers carry the bodies of her abandoned children. To prove yourself worthy, prepare a place where they can be hidden and forgotten forever. Does that mean there's going to be loads of them? Down here or some shit? Oh yeah, this does look culty. 
Feckin' mother devours the weak flesh. She gives life to many children. Great. Didn't we kill the mother in a quest earlier? Or was that a different mother? The one that spat stuff out the floor? Hmm. Are these the brothers that are- This putrid slime is everywhere. I'll take a sample for Dr. Grant to examine. I'm a bit worried that this pile of ooze is going to squirt out some monster babies. Um, I guess we'll worry about that later. <laughs> NMP! That's an NMFP. Not my fucking problem. Ow. Okay. Let's just see how the inventory's doing. Still no cordite. Can I make any more? No, that requires loads of cordite as well. Schwebs. Schwebs. Actually, I might. Just in case there's any other big monsters, I might stick with the shotgun out for now. Hello, monsters. I guess I can just climb over this, right? Does this just lead down to where I was a second ago? Yeah. Cool. I don't know why so many of the buildings do that, but whatevs. I guess they're just decaying. Those bags stink worse than a barrel of rotten fish. Or... Fisk. Whatever. Okay. And that's uh, St. Thomas's cross, right? Is it St. Thomas? The inverted cross? I think it's St. Thomas. And... I think it was just one monster. Piece of piss. God, we had a harder time getting here than... That is a plush bed. That is the most plush bed I've ever seen in this town. Wow. Collection of typewriters and clocks and stuff? Like, it is a shop, isn't it? That makes sense. I guess they sell electronics and shit. Oh, there's a thing downstairs. Okay. Go, go, go! Okay. Quick, bring them in before the neighbors see us. Are those the last ones? Mm. I did everything you asked, yeah? So when will my initiation begin? And then they killed him? They probably killed him. Or made him one of the ones that was going to have a little monster baby, right? Is there a thing up here? No, I don't think so. I have a feeling he didn't get what he wanted. Uh, people very rarely do in these situations. That's why you don't join a cult. <laughs> Okay, let's see what we have here. I think what we- oh, that explains why they have all the limbs. Because of the the people that Quick, birthed them. Bring them in before the neighbors see us. I did everything you asked, yeah? Whoa. So when will my initiation begin? So gross. So gross. I mean, no offense, but... Members of a cult were disposing of bodies in the basement of the shop. The corpses merge together to form a huge monstrosity. Cool! Fucking sweet! Um... Back to the doctor! Ugh, bleh, ugh. Okay. Okay. Let's just... Let's not think about this one too much. Let's just move on, get our reward, and hope that he doesn't have more. I have a feeling he'll have more jobs. Because those were both in Reed Heights, and I wonder if he just gives you one area at a time. I'm not sure. I think we handled that okay, though. Didn't even die. Which is quite an achievement, per my usual standards. Here we go. Uh, this way. Hello, Doctor. I've done it. I've, I've done it. Once again... I've saved the day. Oh, Christ alive. I visited that old shop you mentioned and found <laughs> a weird. few things Let's you not may be it. interested in. Even took a sample for studying. What did you discover? I was sure a huge creature could not have wandered inside unnoticed. 
Yeah, it did not. Second mother was dumping corpses of their victims in the shop's basement. Hmm. Mm. Professor Westerbrook's research does suggest the Acheronians are attracted to dead Acheronians. bodies. Acheronians. No. no. This one formed from the corpses themselves. There was a putrid slime on everything. Maybe that's the cause of this unnatural rebirth. And we did find and a letter said that basically you took said a sample that. Of it. But I can conduct some experiments on rats. If your theory holds true, what a marvelous discovery. That sounds like a terrible idea. I paid a visit to that office. Sounds like you can have a big rat monster. I call it a den of evil, but that would be an understatement. Good grief. What happened? Uh, you don't want to know, mate. Was mad, a cannibal, and fed those jumping monstrosities on human flesh. He called them patrons. Yeah, that pretty grim, hey? was a destination for Oakmont's elite, many of whom disappeared shortly after the flood. Wow, they literally I did eat the rich. <laughs> why? Are you suggesting oh. it was cannibalism that caused such a horrific transformation? These days, alas, cannibalism is not so rare. Could it be? That all the Cosicians, as Westerbrook calls them, were once men? Maybe. A lot of disturbing they do look kind of like people. Beasts. What are you going to do with it? Well, I've already contacted the university. We'll cooperate to further study these phenomena. Good. Great. Um, yeah, we I'll should probably tell people. To know. It would help them to protect themselves and others. <laughs> it would cause mass hysteria. Doesn't the city have enough problems already? I must insist you keep all this confidential. The people here are so blasé about this I shit will. now. But we must prepare our advice carefully, with scientific rigor. Mm. We cannot rush this, my friend. But people are dying to monsters everywhere. Okay. Bye. Well, job done. And that was it. <gasps> Plague Doctor costume. Right, we're getting changed again. <laughs> Taking back to the Devil's Reef, I've got a new costume to wear.